Cloud9 is a team which has had the same lineup now for something like almost a year. And yet they're a team where it's very much a makeshift lineup, the way it's composed. They've got a couple of people who were once upon a time the star players of Cloud9. They've got Shroud, they've got Skadoodle. Those guys are in no way the main players in the team. They've got the newer players, they've got Automatic, they've got Stewie 2 k the guys who have the consistency in, who have the playmaking, who have the firepower, but they're newer players still. They haven't played at an elite level, they haven't gone deep in majors in general. They've just been good players, they've become star players, and they're still waiting to see if they can make that jump up to being superstar players, the best players in the world. And then in between the two worlds, you've got nothing. The veteran player, a star player, if you go back, you know, sort of a 10 years in Counter-Strike, but someone who's been playing more than middling roles since. And so this makeshift lineup they have where they've swapped around who the in-game leader is, at the moment it's back to Stewie 2K. They can play well enough around their stars of Stewie 2K and Automatic, but in general, they don't seem to get that much out of the veterans as much. And so they're more of an upset team. They can win in best of ones. They're a team who has a chance on certain maps that they're particularly good on. But when you put them in a series and you put them deep against the big European teams, they're a team that in general are going to struggle to match up. They don't have the good in-game leading presence. That's been a core role they've lacked for for a long time. Their AWPA isn't a dominant AWPA. They mainly do live and die by the playmaking of Stew 2K and the consistent fragging of Automatic. And even those players, you put them up against the comparisons of like a fur and a cold zero, and it's tough to see how consistently they can match up over a series. So Cloud9 at the moment are playing the role of like a joker team. They're a team who could have a crazy upset on some of the maps that they're good on. They're a team that could in best of ones match up against the top level teams and they can have a game that might look impressive. But did they have the longevity to go deep in the tournament? Can they make the legend status? That's where there's a lot of question marks and that's where a lot of people might say, no, this is a team that probably is looking for roster moves in the future. And this is probably the last go around for them. This is the last hurrah to see if they can keep this five man lineup together or what the new era of Cloud9 is gonna be and when they're gonna bring in some kind of consistent in-game leading presence. So the primary star of Cloud9 is Stewie2k, and he's someone who wasn't even playing at the professional level until the beginning of 2016. And yet in such a young career, he's not only been the best player on his team, he's been someone who's been a revelation as a playmaker, he's someone who's been the in-game leader of the team, admittedly not a very cerebral tactical in-game leader, but he's been able to find a makeshift style that works. He calls around his own style of play and around automatic style of play, and therefore they're able to get theirs in the game, they're able to have star impact, and that gives Cloud9 a chance. Now he has shown difficulties as an in-game leader. How does he use Shroud? How does he get someone like Skadoodle's AWP to be effective within the match? That's where he hasn't really been able to make much of an impact on the match. But as an individual player, he has been one of the best players to come out of NA in the last couple of years. He's someone who is a playmaker. He's someone who has the skill level to frag at a high level and seems to have the confidence to go at top European players. Even so though, he's still got that next level he has to go to where when you put him in the big match, he hasn't always been able to show up to the same degree that you'd expect from those European superstars who fulfill that role. So Automatic becoming one of the star players of Cloud9 is probably one of the most unexpected transition points for a player of any I can think of over the last two or three years because he's someone who was playing in and around the NA scene the entire time of Cloud9 being a team on the rise. He was there in the background in lesser teams and then even when he played in TSM, which was a decent enough team, he didn't look like this star player. He didn't look like this player who could have huge impact, who could frag at a high level. Somehow, when he came into Cloud9, something about his relationship with Stewie 2K or the different role they've put him in has allowed this guy to reach his limit of potential. And he's shown himself to be a cerebral player. And so when he was in teams like TSM, sometimes he'd be at the end of a round, he'd be in lurking type situations, and he didn't look as effective. When he was in other teams before that, he was in some more supportive roles, and he didn't seem like he fit that as well. Now in this team, he's one of the main firepower sources. He's someone who plays in the middle of the round, who the game comes to him at the pace he wants to, and he seems to be quite cerebral, have a good sense for how to approach the match, what situations to put himself in, and how to be successful as an individual player. And so it's him, in his individual game, but then paired up with Stewie 2K. As a duo, they really have established themselves, especially in North America, as one of the most reliable firepower sources out there. 